this is it before the spring game. Kind of, how do you feel like this team progressed through spring ball? Man, I'm excited. I'm really excited for this team. Uh, you know, we, we got a lot better every week. Every day we got a lot better. Guys learned how to work the way that Coach Mack wanted us to work. And, and uh, we bought in very quickly, and, that, and that's definitely great. Why did this team buy in? A lot of people have said that. Because guys were tired of losing, man, and, and we wanted something new. And um, we knew that what he had to offer us was a winning way, was a winning strategy. And, uh, and when, we, when we were told that we could win if we just follow him, but why would you not buy him? Coach, uh, Mac mentioned you as one of the people who stood out this uh, spring. So what's been your mindset? Uh, yeah. well, last spring, man, um, you know, just want to enjoy it. I told myself I was going to have a lot of fun this season. And, 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 and I think just going as hard as you can is very fun because when you go as hard as you can, you get noticed and people talk about you and you make big plays. And as long as you go as hard as you can, I mean, football is a really fun game. So. Who are a couple of players that maybe fans should look out for to, you know, Saturday for the spring game? Say that one more time. Who are a couple of players that fans should look out for on Saturday? Devontae uh, Williams. Um, it's, just, it's, so, it's so many guys, man. Yeah. I'm going to be real with you. It's, our team just looks really solid. I, I can't I can't point one guy, uh, but I'm around Vontae every day, so it's kind of he's what I talk about. But uh, it's it's so many guys that stepped up this spring, so many guys making big plays. It's, the entire team's gonna look really good. Can you speak to his development over the last year? Vontae's a dog. Uh, he I, I'm excited, you know, to be able to play with him for two years and kind of help guide him and, and mentor him a little bit and teach him, you know, the game of football. Uh, I think he's going to be a ridiculous running back here at Carolina, um, you know, this year and and whenever I'm going. Um, but I'm excited for his career. The linebackers has been an area that's Mac Brown said maybe a little bit concerning. Mm -hmm. uh, they're thin, they're much depth. What can you tell us about that group? Who stands out? Maybe some things they need to work on, or things are doing well. Uh, they all work hard. They can run very well. Um, and I think they're just adjusting to the new defense. Uh, I don't think it's anything you know, negative in that room. Uh, I think it's just the adjustment. It's just taking a little longer with them, but you know, as the as the things things have winded down, they looked they look really good, and and they you know they should be that center point of the defense. Any players have stand, stood out in that group that may may not know about? Uh, D. Ross. I mean, everybody knows D. Ross and um, Gimmel. Gimmel's look really good as well. Chaz is Chaz is moving really good too. Chaz is sideline sideline. Chaz can run, so he's been really. Is that good. surprising you to see him made that switch so so easily? No, he's a he's a smart football player. I mean, as long as you're a smart football player, I think. You, you're a smart football player and you're a good athlete. You can probably switch to any position, honestly. Antonio, after the Georgia Tech game last season, you talked about how it was sort of a low point, but it was almost necessary because bigger things were coming mm -hmm. ahead. After this spring, have you kind of been able to see the bigger things? Have it come into uh, focus a little clearer? Yeah, it's, it's coming clear. I think um, we just got to keep working every day. You know, this is the last spring uh, practice, and then we got the game Saturday. So, you know, hitting that summer, when we hit summer, we got to keep it rolling. That's the main part. Just keep this momentum going and then let it roll into the fall. What gave you the confidence after those sort of low points last fall that bigger things were coming for this program? The guys on the team. We knew what we had. We knew what we had and we knew the, the potential that, that we all possessed. Um, and we just knew that it just had to be used the right way and we just had to figure out how to use it. And that's 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 what's happening. We're all figuring ourselves out in the way that should be. Should be. Yeah. What, what, what assured you that you wanted to stay uh, for your final year and give this thing another go? What assured me that I wanted to stay? First and foremost, I was the first person in my family to go to college, and I wanted to be the first to get a degree. Um, that's very important to me. And I also know the NFL is there. It's not going anywhere. Uh, and, and I came here to try to help Carolina get back to a, a, a top team in the ACC. Um, and last year, we definitely weren't, so I couldn't leave on that. No, as, as the person that I am, as a leader, you know, I'm, I'm not the type to leave on a losing season. I want to win. I'm a, I want to win when I'm going out. All right, let's